Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey everyone. Uh, we were all knocked out by it. Thank you so have much. Have you guys seen the movie yet? I have. I have. I saw it about a month ago. You did. And what'd you think? You know, you know when you revise for an exam and you feel like you crushed it, but the longer you wait for the results, the more you think you kind of He's British, by the ruined way. Ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I need a test or a, a test or yeah. something. Thank God you brought your translator. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, boss. I got to see a little bit of the movie this morning, and I, I saw that Tony Stark, uh, Iron Man, is kind of taking Spider-Man under his wing this mm -hmm. time and, you know, helping him um, with the ropes. And um, I was wondering how working with Robert was. This is actually him. Yeah, Hang right. On a minute. He never FaceTimes me. This is so weird. Hey, man. How are you doing? Dude. What's up? I just saw the movie. It's so good. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you so much. I'm actually doing press for it right now. I did 11 hours without going to the toilet. It was a tough day. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Come on in. All access. Oh, I give that a minute, but. Woo! But yeah, so walking into the screening, I was like, this is going to be awful, I'm going to hate it, and leaving, I was over the moon. You were? Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, I loved okay. it. So you're not overly critical of yourself and your performance and all that no, stuff? I loved no. it. Robert, you have not seen it yet? I have uh, personally yet to see it. When oh. can I... Uh... You will see it when I'm ready for you to see it. Right? <laughs> Just take a minute. The new blood, get used to it. <laughs> oh my god, what are you, junketing? Yeah, I'm in the middle of junket. I can't really speak right now. Can I call you back? No, but you can do it. It's me. I'm in, um, I'm in Berlin right now. I'm in Germany. Uh, uh, come on. It's fun, man. I wish you were here. Are you doing a good job? Am I doing a good job? Uh, yeah. yeah. I think so. I'd like a little confirmation on that. Put the uh, press person on the phone. Uh, You're... Okay. He would like to speak to you. Robert, how much are you involved in casting Tom in this movie? I would assume that there's some kind of... That you play some kind of role in that. Uh... Yeah, well, when we were uh, doing Civil War was when, right at the beginning of that, they were casting, and so they brought in all the, the finalists uh -huh. for the exam. Yes, and, the exam. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and Tom Nader, I mean, what I, what I had to do, they're like, he's great, isn't he? I was like, yeah, he is. And that was it. Three words. Nice. <laughs> Set the scene for me, then. Where does this movie pick up from? In Civil War, Tony is uh, a little desperate, and he starts trying to uh, get some uh, fresh meat recruits, winds up in Queens, and turns out young Peter Parker proves himself a worthy addition to the team, provided you got some training wheels on him. Don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Is Robert? There Ro you go. Robert Downey Jr. That's him right there. He wants to have solo. Oh, Iron Man. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Hi. How are you? You know, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty. I'm just checking in on the uh, on Astro Hall and making sure he's, you know, making the rounds, and being appropriate. Well, he's being perfect, actually. He's re representing you guys very well. It's been, it's been great. Wait a minute. Here's the thing. Is he wearing leader hosen during the interviews? You say he's great, isn't he? About any of the other guys that they brought in. The, it, everybody was good, and then there was just this other element of like you you, you saw it, and I was <laughs> there. Yeah, it feels him. like the Spider-Man that I read about in the comic books when exactly. I was like eight years old. That's, That's the Spider-Man that the you Spider play in this homecoming, movie. Homecoming, a coming home to the OG. I never went to Homecoming, so that I didn't really <laughs> relate to. I was left. Right. I was at home crying during Homecoming. <laughs> oh. Do you, well, I think he wants to talk to you. Anyway, mate, it's been so nice catching up with you. Um, I don't even know what leader hosens are. Oh, come on. You know what? You're busted. Don't copy my vibe. You're your own thing. But you've done it so well. I was just trying to be like you. Don't be like me. Be better. Okay. You gotta flop. Okay. I'm not mad. Just disappointed. Right, okay. Lots of love. Speak to you soon. Bye, Oslam. Bye, Robert. When we were shooting Iron Man in 2007, he gets shrapnel in his heart, and then Yin Sen puts a metallic tokamak reactor in his chest to keep the shrapnel out of his heart. I mean, it's beyond uh, metaphoric, you know, it's literally the physicalization of it. And I think that's why Stan Lee and the whole just Marvel lexicon is so, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, at the, at the heart of it, these are all, you know, they're just these archetypes of kind of
broken people. That was lovely. <laughs> I was copying him because I guess, did he wear Lederhosen here in Germany? <laughs> He did. There you go. Now <laughs> Tony Stark is angry at me. Are you keeping these pants? Yeah, they're comfy. They're really comfy. I like these a lot. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thank you. What do you call homecoming over uh, across the pond? Yeah. We call it prom. You call it prom? And... What do you call prom? <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole thing. We got halfway through shooting the movie. I was like, by the way, what's a homecoming? <laughs> really? Yeah, I had no, we don't do that. Again, I wouldn't like them if the movies weren't good. You know, just... So happens that this oh, spider. You're in the middle of an man, interview. Man, oh. man. <laughs> pull up a chair. Now hold on a damn second. Just because I did this to you in <laughs> Berlin you. doesn't mean all right, all right. I even wore glasses to try. Look at you. This is very RDJ, right? It's very good. You really are taking cues from the master now. Our proms are very different, though. In what way? Well, they serve booze at the prom. They do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're 18. We, we have to drink ours in the parking lot yeah. before we get in. <laughs> exactly. That was yeah. half the fun. <laughs> yeah, my problem right. was a disaster. Oh, uh, I bet it was. You got a bunch of 18-year-olds <laughs> yeah. drunk and throwing up on each other. Yeah. <laughs> If your yeah. kid starts acting up, just take their superhero suit away. <laughs> just take their suit <laughs> away. <laughs> I mean, that's, that, that's easy. Done. Right. Solves everything. Well, we, for us, it used to be no TV for a week. Yeah. You know? It's a, it's a little more complicated nowadays. Here's the problem. is He's, he's bum-rushing us because I pulled a little stunt. What did I do? He FaceTimed me in the middle of an interview. Really? He's never FaceTimed me ever <laughs> once. Now it's become a bit of a thing. Why are you answering your phone in the middle of an interview? Because it's you. Yeah, if it right. was my mom, I'd be like, mm, no. <laughs> but it's Robert Downey Jr., so you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll see what's happening. Did you know about, like, what American schools are like? Because you have to play Peter Parker, who mm. is a student, a high school right. student. Yeah, I think that was probably the most daunting part of, of taking on this character. So as a joke, I suggested to Marvel that I should go to a high school undercover. Right. And it was completely a joke, and Marvel took it completely seriously. I guess they didn't get my British sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, they do that. And, uh, yeah, so the next thing I know, I was, like, had a backpack with a pencil case on my way to Bronx School of Science. Oh, boy. I feel as though many actors would be very excited to play Spider-Man. It's sort of a dream role, but literally, you were a huge Spider-Man fan all through your childhood. Yeah, I feel like I've been playing Spider-Man in my bedroom since I was five. You actually posted a photo. This is you holding up, uh, like, uh, uh, this is one of your Spider-Man shirts. I think that is the first one. I think my, my lovely mum kept that, which I'm now super grateful for. <laughs> School with a fake name and a fake accent. Um... Did you have a fake mother drop you off at the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they brought Marissa Tomei in just for that weekend. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, yeah, and Bronx School of Science is a school for genius, genius kids. Genius kids, right. And I am no genius. You're not? No, I, even the teachers didn't know that I was not a real student, so they would bring me up to the front of the class and be like, what do you think, new kid? I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you got some cojones coming in here and... and, and uh... No, I'm the new kid on the block. Right, yeah. it's working. Try and step up to the plate. The way I think Tony looks at him is, wow, you know, this is uh, a, a really capable, kind of, he's got a good moral psychology. He, he doesn't have the limitations that Tony was born into by being in this military industrial complex family. Funny experience, I was sat at the back of a classroom next to quite a pretty girl, and uh, eventually she's like, so dude, what's your deal, man? <laughs> I was like, well, do you want to know my secret? <laughs> like, okay. I like, I'm actually Spider-Man. <laughs> She's like, dude, you're nuts, bro. You're nuts. You, you, you done now? It. Yeah. All right. No, I just know? wanted to show my face. God, it's a good face. Wow. Oh, nice. The future of cinema. <laughs> Very so. stylish. Turnabout is fair play. We're even now. See you later. All right, pal. Tom Han, so. payback's a bitch. And, and she didn't believe me. Of course she didn't believe because me. That's Super a ridiculous story. Yet. I know. Yeah. Yes. But the fact that you were allowed to just suddenly go to Bronx Science in the middle of the year with no explanation, that breach, that was believable. Yeah, yeah. that was... <laughs> it yeah. indicates we, we've got a problem with our public education system. Yeah. <laughs> He's self-aware enough to know that he might not be making the right decisions, but you do what you can, and he's, uh, he's a lot more personable than he used to be. Um, it's Gigi Hadid. For more videos like this, click here. Hi, I'm Alessia Vikander. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Hi, I'm Cara Delevingne. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here.